So here are some deadlifts from the past Wednesday. Uh, I did 45 for eight singles, and these are singles number three, number seven, number eight. And this session isn't a PR of any sorts, but it's definitely a progression from the uh, previous weeks that I've been doing the sumo deadlift. And getting used to the raw deadlifts after doing so much gear pulling, it takes a, a bit of acclimation as far as time is concerned. And here is single number three. Again, uh, slow off the floor like all my pulls are. And that's one of the concepts that I want to stress in this video, that you have to be patient off the floor with the sumo deadlift. Again, that is to preserve the positioning of the back and the positioning of the hips. So if you rush the setup and if you rush getting the bar off the floor, what's going to happen is the hips will lift prematurely and you'll be utilizing way too much back. And that's not what an efficient sumo pull does. Uh, it'll really utilize the hips and the hip drive. So you really want to, uh, I want to say slow down the lift, but you really want to focus on the positioning of the hips. And you'll notice that the best IPF pullers, they are generally patient off the floor and uh, they really work hard to maintain that initial position of the body. Again, keeping the knees out. Uh, for the most part, again, the I believe the best sumo pullers in the world are from Indonesia and they really uh, push the knees out and they really uh, maintain the position of the hips and they're really uh, patient off the floor. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching.